hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a really great week. We are Thursday, so it's live. Uh, I'm coming up, so that's good. I am live. Welcome everyone, my name is Tracy Bish. I'm an independent Stepping Up demonstrator in Australia. Um, I go live every Thursday at five, so thank you so much for joining me, whether you're watching the live or the replay later on. I really do appreciate everyone popping in and spending a little time with us tonight. I've got a few popping on, so welcome everyone. I hope, um, hope you're ready for a little bit of crafting tonight and a little bit of fun. Um, while we're waiting for some people to, or some more people to join in, whoever is joining in, um, I thought, I didn't put my, my, my notifications on on my phone. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I thought we'd just have a quick chit chat while everyone's popping on and before everyone joins in. So if you've got something exciting happening this weekend or you had something exciting happening last weekend, um, pop it in the chat. Let us know um, what's been going on with you guys. Hi Wendy. Hi Sue. So nice to have you here. Um, so what's been going on in our life? Not a lot. <laughs> I will admit I've um, not been doing a lot. I've been doing a fair bit of crafting and um, just relaxing and talking with friends and things like that. Um, I did get my hair cut and coloured and it's actually really short. My husband caught, uh, cut it and it's really, really short. I, I can still have it out and and that, but um, it's so nice to have it a little bit shorter. It was getting caught under my collar and, you know, once it gets to a certain length, it also sort of sits really not very nice either. So it's nice to have it a little bit shorter. I got rid of all the greys, which <laughs> were really bad, but um, I put up with it for as long as I could. And um, I really did think about just keeping it grey and, and being done with it, but I couldn't in the end, but so we got rid of them. Um, hi Glenda, how are you? We also had my nephew's 21st birthday last weekend, so we did celebrate that with him, which was lovely. And have you guys seen my short um, with the card that I created with him? I used the uh, beer set, and it's three jugs of, well, is it schooners? I'm not really sure about the beer terms, but you know, your steins maybe of the uh, beer. And then I used that uh, puff paint that Stamping Up used to have for the froth. And it turned out so well. I was really happy with how the card turned out. Um, so if you haven't seen that, there is a video here on YouTube that you can watch um, and have a look at that card. And it was also my card for uh, Tracy's Sunday Challenge this week, which the theme is drinks. So if um, you're interested in joining in the challenge, um, you can certainly join in. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Yeah, it was it was a really good card and a fun card to create. It's it's always harder to create masculine cards than what it is for feminine. But um, yeah, I think you enjoyed it. I don't really know. <laughs> Hi, Judith. How are you? Oh, thank you very much. I'm so glad that um, you guys have all seen it and you you thought it was a good card. That's always lovely. Um, so we've got Father's Day coming up this weekend. Has anyone got anything planned? Are you doing anything exciting? I can't tell you <laughs> only because my mum's watching and my dad might be listening as well so um, I will tell you next week after after Father's Day's happened but we we do have our daughter coming home on Friday night so she's coming for the weekend um, her and her boyfriend so that's gonna be a lot of fun we have already booked um, to go out for tea on Saturday night and we're also going to the movies to see Sound of Freedom so um, we're looking forward to that. I think that's going to be really good. Has anyone seen Sound of Sounds of Freedom or Sound of Freedom? Um, I'm not sure whether it's sounds or sound, but um, yeah, I think it's, think it's going to be a good good movie. So looking forward to that and a little bit of downtime with the kids. So um, which is always really really lovely to to have a bit of time with them as well. Um, so what about you guys? Do you have any plans for Father's Day? or um yeah or just for the weekend maybe you don't maybe you aren't doing anything for father's day um oh glenda's making christmas cards at the moment awesome it's always a good time to get started on them early because i tell you christmas does sneak around so fast um 
Oh, Sue says she's given up on the grey battle. Sue, it's funny because um, I'm 46. I have been going grey since I was 18. So I've pretty much spent my whole adult life grey. And um, before I got my hair done on the weekend, I was, yeah, it was a, a decent amount of grey that was there. <laughs> It's just whether I wanted to to keep growing growing it out, but yeah, I had people comment um, out and about, and <laughs> that um, I didn't like that. <laughs> Actually, at the um, we went and had uh, I picked up Chinese. Um, takeaway and the guy actually commented he looked over I was sitting down he looked over my, on my head and said oh you're going gray and then he said um, oh you're very fuzzy and I thought that's a bit rude <laughs> so yeah it was <laughs> I thought okay well we're gonna maybe dye the hair now but um, yeah I wanted to see whether it was more silvery gray or gray it wasn't a bad colour actually. My husband said it looks more um, blonde, like it looks sort of like a really blonde grey. So anyway, um, September's birthday month for Judith. Yes, lots of yellow cards coming your way. <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, thank you all for joining me. I hope um, you're, you're excited to see what we're going to create tonight. There's a few announcements which I want to get to first um, because today's actually the last day of the month and with this as being the last day of the month, there's actually a lot of things going on. Um, so first thing is your uh, bonus days coupons. If you have earned a bonus day coupon last month um, through August, if you haven't used your bonus day co coupons by tonight, you're going to lose them. So um, Sue, I don't know whether you've placed your order yet, but hopefully you have. Um, but yeah, don't miss out on those bonus day coupons. It's an extra little freebie. So it's always good to, to make sure that you use them. It's also um, the last day to take advantage of um, so up to 30% off the kit collections you can see them in my online store and I'm actually using one of the kits tonight it's one of the new kits um, in the collection and you can get that at, I think it's twenty dollars and seventy cents right now which is an amazing special um, but yeah thirty percent off uh, all the kit collections this is also a really great time if you are going to gift them as gifts for Christmas or for birthday or if you're getting a stash for your grandkids or your kids for the holidays. So holidays are coming up in what, two weeks? Maybe you can use that time to get the kids Christmas crafting or, uh, you know, just, just crafting to get that little stash together as well. So it's also a really great time to get 30% off kits. Um, but like I said, this ends uh, tonight. And because we're finishing up August, we also have the August tutorial bundle. Um, this you can get free with any order um, in my online store. Please use the hostess code. You can also receive it by purchasing it on my blog. So if you go over to my blog, there is um, on the right hand side some um, pictures and you can see this post. So you can actually purchase it through PayPal and it's an instant download so that is a great way of getting it if you live outside of Australia you can't actually purchase with me um, the other thing is too is if you join my team you get my tutorial bundles for free every single month so um, that's a really great special as well oh hi Ray how are you Wendy I thought it was rude too I just I don't think he understood that it was rude <laughs> I think I was more taken aback right at the point, but when I got back out to the car, I thought, that is a bit rude. <laughs> um, yeah, Marion says that um, I was a silver blonde as a child. Yeah, and it, it, it is actually very, very much like a blonde color, my silver. Ray says she lo loves her gray. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think, because I've been going grey since I was 18, I'm sort of, I've had a long time to get used to it, but I'm also only 36, so I don't know. I, I, I came closer to going completely grey um, 
last week, but yeah, because we had the 21st too, I didn't really want to, because it was, it was very much like I still got the very dark down the bottom of my hair and, and the, the light at the top. So yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't brave enough for that. <laughs> um, Glenda says she's nearly 72 and doesn't have much gray hair yet. Wow. That's awesome. I, bl I blame my genetics for being 18 and starting to get grey, so I think it, um, it's just what you're born with, isn't it? Although my daughter doesn't have any greys and she's almost 25, so I said to her, be, be happy with that. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, it's so nice to see you here, Ray. So what time is it over there now? It'd be a late night. Hi, Deborah. Um, oh, you can only stay for a little while. That's okay. We'll enjoy going out with your daughter. That sounds lovely too. Yeah, very nice to have you all here. Um, okay, so we did talk about the August tutorial, which goes away tonight. Um, we also have the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial. This finishes up um, tonight. So if you place a $100 order using the host code, you'll also receive this one, as well as the August tutorial bundle for free. Um, both these these tutorials you can get after the fact if you want to purchase them so they are still available but to get them free um, this finishes tonight so this is the uh, countryside in sweet I love this sweet this is such a lovely um, beautiful colored sweet um, and I did show you the card was it last week I'm not really sure now last week or the week before. So um, this has 12 tutorials, they're full color photos, all the instructions, all the measurements, all the supplies are included. And um, it's a really great inspirational tutorial. So there is a couple of ways you can get this tutorial as well. Again, place an order of $100 in product using the host code, you'll get that free. Um, you can also purchase it over on my blog. There is a Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial, you actually see this picture. Um, and that's an instant download once you've paid through PayPal. And lastly, if you're an Inky Stamper, so if you want to sign up as part of my team, um, my team get these uh, and the monthly tutorials for free every single month. And it's a great little lot of inspiration that you can grab um, just for being part of the wonderful team that I have, which I'm not going to lie, they are amazing ladies as well. Alrighty, so that is everything that's finishing up this month. Don't forget tomorrow I'll have a new host code. So if you want to wait till tomorrow, get the new tutorial bundles, the new Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle um, that starts tomorrow. We do have this wonderful catalog that goes live next Wednesday. So we've got less than a week left. Um, this will be available from Wednesday the 6th. And I'm so excited to have this go out. Now, if you've purchased with me in the last six months, I have sent out all the catalogs um, to my customers. But if you live in Australia and you're not already ordering through another demonstrator and you would like to grab this catalog, please reach out to me. I would love to send it to you um, and get you ready for your Christmas crafting or maybe you do some autumn crafting, Halloween crafting. I've got some Halloween stuff coming up. And um, I will say this is probably one of the best holiday catalogs that we've had for a while. There's not much in there that I don't like. And um, I think Stampin' Up! have done a really great job with this one. So if you would like to get your hands on the catalog, please just reach out and I can happily send you one out. Now, just talking about the mini catalog as well, I'm doing a paper share um, using all the papers. So there's 15, uh, Design, design series paper packs in the catalog and that's including your specialty paper. You can get a sampling, so a quarter pack of all 15 papers um, through my paper share and there is a link over my blog. So if you would like more information, if you would like to register your spot now, um, please go over and do that. I do have one uh, paper share already completed um, but I have started another one. So there's plenty of room for everyone to join in and um, be part of it. And it's a really great way of getting all the, the designer series papers for a fraction of the cost. And then that way, the ones that you really do like, you can then go back in and purchase the big packs. So 
I highly recommend paper shares. They are so good. And then you also receive a free gift with um, the paper share. So Ray says it's 3 a.m. What are you still doing up, Ray? That's crazy. <laughs> Wendy says maybe I'm returning to my childhood color of silver blonde. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so that is also there. I'm really excited. I can't wait to start really crafting with any catalog. I've tried to hold back just a little bit just because um, you, know, you guys can't purchase it yet. Unless you're a demo, you can purchase it um, right now. Now, also, if you're not a demo, but you want to purchase it before next week, all you need to do is just purchase the starter kit. You can purchase um, or you can pick those items that are in the mini catalog in your starter kit. So $169, you get to choose $235 worth of product um, and you'll have free shipping on your first order. Orders after your first order are 20% off. There is so many amazing specials with um, being a demonstrator, including uh, demonstrator events, which we've got one coming up in November. We've got an also another huge one coming up in March. And I will say being a demonstrator is the best because um, all the little extras that come into um, being a demonstrator, whether it be um, just getting the discount, getting your product early, getting to see the catalogs early um, and the demonstrator events, all amazing. So if it's something that you've maybe thought of that you would like more information or you would like to chat with me about, um, please get in touch with me because I'd love to um, chat with you about it. Yay, Sue's registered for the November one. I have two Sue, so um, that's exciting. Although I'm really really chomping at the bit for the March event, which is a three day in-person event. I think the in-person events are always a lot of fun. And I always seem to get a little bit more out of the in-person events. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to. And three days is amazing. Uh, now, before we get into the uh, crafting with the kit collection, I wanted to show you the three cards that um, I will have for my September card class. So if you live in um, Bendigo or the Bendigo area. I'm now doing uh, monthly card classes. There are three cards that we create. Um, I bring everything for the class. You just bring your adhesives, your um, scissors, like your little tool kit, and we have a great time. We have um, some afternoon tea and some yummies, so it's always fun. I've decided to do, I asked the ladies last month what they would like to do um, because we did three birthday cards last month um, and I wanted to start using some of the new mini catalog products. So let me show you the cards that um, are for my September card class. Here is the first one. This is the Trucking Along bundle, which um, is part of the online exclusives right now. So there's one card. Then we have this one here, and you know, I didn't write the names down, but this is a new set, something cheer in the mini catalog. And look at this gorgeous ribbon. This is also a um, online exclusive and a new embossing folder. So cute. Who doesn't love gingerbread man at Christmas time? And then I wanted to also do a masculine birthday card that was a little bit, a little bit different. So this is this one here using our Let's Go Fishing Suite. And we open it up. And we have a really nice card. Isn't this gorgeous? I really like this one. So we've got Pebble Path and Wild Wheat are our colours for this card. Oh, it's upside down, Miss Jane. But isn't that a great card? So something a little bit more stepped up for the card class. So some of the ladies uh, have a more avid crafters, some are sort of, um, you know, beginner to intermediate. So it's always fun to sort of be able to do a little bit for everyone. Now, if you're interested in joining, um, it's Saturday the 16th of September, 2 to 4 p.m. in um, Bendigo. So Monday Street, Bendigo, which is at the Y. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So there is a sign up um, over my blog. So you do have to sign up to register your spot. But 
um, that spot those that registration is now open so if you're interested please go over and um, sign up now all right um, Oh, Sue, are you thinking that you might not come to the March one? I guarantee you, you will love it. Uh, Deborah's registered for November. And, oh, okay. Deborah's also made accommodation booking for the March event. I've looked into it. I haven't done it yet, but I think I have to really get onto that because I think we're going to be in a lot of trouble. There's been a lot of talk of the Grand Prix on that weekend as well so i'm not sure how that's going to go with accommodation so it's probably better if you are going to attend to get in and get your accommodation super early um alrighty excellent all right well that was all my announcements let's i'm going to pop the camera down so we can have a look at this new kit now it's the festive tags kit perfect for your christmas I know that's super noisy, so I do apologize. I'm just going to set up my lights. I had a big accident before I went live. Um, my big studio lights actually toppled one down and it was on. And I was super worried that I was going to break it, but it's still working, so I'm very thankful. I would hate to see these. These stop working because they're so good. All right. How's that, guys? Is that not too dark? Can we see everything all right? I think that's pretty good. All right. Um, Stamping Up Kit Collection actually has quite a few uh, kits available right now. There are even... Um, I think there's two or three Christmas card kits. This one's a tag kit, so let me show you. I did get it in my pre-order, and I love the kit collection boxes that they come in. Great little gift idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up. We're going to go through all the contents before we create. Now, there's three, three tags of five designs, so 15 tags in all. And you get to make three each of the five designs. This kit is also a, um, a non-stamping kit. So, and to be honest, they're not usually my favorite. I do like the ones that have the stamps in there because you can reuse that, um, that stamp set for other, other projects. So here we have, they always come with great instructions. And this one's actually beautiful colored instructions. So I'm gonna pop that to the side. Let's have a look. So we have some baker's twine. This is black and white baker's twine. And we have some embellishments, so like gold gems really pretty some dimensionals and then we have some die cuts so keep this board because that's really great for if you're sending something that you want don't want it to be squished okay so there should be three each of these cutouts and look at the colors on them so we've got baubles snowmen christmas trees gorgeous uh, it's like a pink poinsettia 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 um, a wreath and we've got some tags i love the colors in these so the black and white is really pretty nice array of pinks as well as reds some golds and this is like a mint color, maybe mint macaron, garden green, some green banners, 
And then also in the kit we have some stand, some stickers, which have all the um, languages that Stamping Up work in. So you can change them around if you would like. We're going to stick with the English, but um, you know you've got lots there that you can create other other cards with. Maybe send them to your other Stamping Up friends if you've got some. Or if you've got some friends overseas, that's a, a really great way of using them as well. All right, so let me have a look. I'm going to grab my kit sort of thing. So I'm just going to grab one of each. You can actually put these on cards as well. So you don't have to have um, these as your tags for your few gifts. I'd certainly pop them on a Christmas card and that would look really great. So I do know that one, because there's three of each set, that we need one of each to create one, one lot. I think the pink is Flirty Flamingo by the look of it, which is really pretty. If you've got grandkids, this would be a great idea to get the kids creating the Christmas tags. That would be so much fun. Christmas tree. Love the bauble. That's just great colours. And you've got the shimmer of the gold in most of the pieces too. Oh, Wendy, what a great idea. So her grandchildren made the tags into Christmas decorations for the tree. That is an awesome idea. Very clever. That would look so good, especially on a smaller tree. Um, if you have a maybe little tree that the young kids can can play with because let's face it all kids like to play with the Christmas tree so if they've got a little one that they can touch because most of them they can't touch these would look really great on them I'm just taking all my little centerpieces off I think I'm going to have to make a couple of these into cards as well. If I do that in the next week, I will share them with you. Okay, so this one here is using that bauble. And this one here. So I might just pop them into order and then that way will know what each of them are for. Not one. It's another one. This one and this one. So they're going to come together really quickly and easily. Oh, that one goes together. I thought it looked a little little bear and with our twine I'm going to have to grab that out as well what's really great is they do have a little measuring lines here and I just have to see how much they use eight and a quarter inches yeah or 21 centimeters does anyone struggle with the ends of these I think that's half the battle is finding the ends it 
That's it. Perfect. So, what was that? 21 centimeters. I'm gonna grab my ribbon scissors because my snips are not sharp at all. And once we have our kit sort of all in order, I think we're gonna create them super fast. So everything's included. The um, dimensionals, the gems. So everything's popped up, which is great. Lots and lots of ribbon. They usually have more than you need to. So you might be able to use them on another project. Okay, let's start with this one here. We're going to add a couple of dimensionals to our bauble and pop up onto our pink. Like so, and we're going to use the for you. This one here. So these are actually fairly thick. They're not super thin, which is great because they are stickers. And then we can pop up down onto the gold stripe. Couldn't show. <laughs> I think you're supposed to line the circles up, but I want to be able to still see that gold. Ribbon goes through, or twine goes through. These would look so pretty on a card. You know, Judith, I was thinking the same thing. There's definitely not enough dimensionals on there for me. Oh, but that's okay. I do have some on the side. So because this would be sitting on a project rather than a card, if I was making these on a card, I'd definitely add more dimensionals than that. Isn't that gorgeous? Very pretty. Just love that bauble. Okay, let's move on to the snowman. This one is super simple. We're going to add some dimensionals to this piece. Onto the blue. This is, I think it's pool party by the look of it. Going to pop that up onto the, the black and white stripe. Gonna use a little bit more in these, I think. And you can see his little nose is gold foiled, which is really pretty. Once again, I don't wanna completely cover up the black layer at the top. Pop the string through. And I'm actually securing it to the bottom of the tag there. This is really nice thin baker's twine too. Stamping Up have been doing a lot of the thicker baker's twine. I much prefer this thin, thin style. And we're gonna add a few of those gold gems on here as well. So three, in fact. That's not gonna work. One there, and two on the top. 
These are stuck down really well. There's enough putty there too. Okay. My goodness, they are so sweet. Poinsettia, poinsettia, who knows. Okay, so for this one here, it's going to sit off the edge. So we're just going to add a couple of dimensionals to the end of the tag. You could either put it on the back of your die cut. What I'll find is probably going to be easier is just to attach it to the tag. That way it's not going to be off the side of the tag. It'll be in the right area. And we pop him down. like so and then the sentiment we're going to pop on oh i didn't put on sentiment on this one this one is be merry so we'll put that one on first i love the pop of the black and white and it's almost like a um typewriter look so for this one here, we've got Merry Christmas. Um, let's see Christmas. Where's the Merry? Oh, there it is. These are nice and thick. So I've had plenty of kits that have had, you know, stickers in before. Stamping Up do actually do a good job with the stickers. They're nice thick ones when they use them. And then we're going to pop this on over the top of the red. Red stripe. Oh, that's way too many. I like the colours that they've used. Not overly traditional colours, but... Oh, and I don't need those two. They're going to be hanging off. Let's try that again. Yeah, that would have been hanging off the end. So I can add one of those. In there, so it's hidden. Nice. I'm gonna add our string and then we have one of those little gems for the center of the flower or poinsettia. There is gold flecking in the die cut for around the center of the flower. So it's sort of going to sit around the center of that fleck. Oh, no worries, Ray. It is very hard to tell with the kits, I agree. Um, but I did know as soon as I saw this kit that it was going to be a really pretty one. Just like the look of it. That is gorgeous. Okay. Next one is our Joy. They got mixed up a little bit there. So I'm going to add three dimensionals to our wreath I will admit I don't usually do many wreath cards for Christmas it's gonna go on the gold actually before we do that let's pop our sentiment in the middle because that might be a little hard to get that in otherwise we're looking for joy. This one here. 
the cursive writing, which is gorgeous. So, so I want it there, I think. And if I don't push down, yeah, that's a good position. I can stick this over the top. You know, the sad thing is, is most kids these days can't read cursive writing, let alone actually write in cursive writing. I'm going to pop it up onto our uh, Flirty Flamingo spotted tag. I know my kids learnt, I think, maybe a year, and then they stopped learning it, and then they were just doing... Um, just normal writing. Nice little pop of pink. Although I have really bad chicken scratch, so no one can read my writing anyway. I think I should have been a doctor. Definitely got the doctor's hand, I just don't. <laughs> I put it down to my brain goes faster than my hands can write. That's what I'm sticking with anyway. I do have terrible handwriting. <laughs> That's pretty. And we're going to add three gems to this one as well. One. These are nice and clear as well. I don't know how well. Can you see that? Really nice gems. Beautiful. Lots of gold. Shimmer and shine. And then we're on our last one. Marion said that I and her would have been great doctors. You shorthand. Um, that only some can decipher. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if I write a list for my husband when he's going shopping or something, I've always got to tell him what's on there because he can't read it. So we have our little tree. Got dimensional backings going everywhere. Going to pop him in the centre. And then we're going to need the... Noel. It's going to go on the bottom here. Nice. Pop him up onto our green. And I'm not sure, that looks like Lost Lagoon. I don't know how well that shows up in the camera. But I do believe we've got Lost Lagoon. Uh... Flirty Flamingo, Pool Party, Garden Green, Real Red. I think that's the colours used. So I do like this colour combo with the gold. It's really pretty. Okay, we use our last little bit of twine that I've cut. You can make these exactly as they are. You can change them around if you, you know, you don't have to do the kit the exact same way. Certainly make different tags with it. Maybe create cards with it. You're not limited only by your imagination. And this one has some gold gems as well. We'll do the same as what they've got in the instructions. Oh, no worries, Deborah. Enjoy your night. Have a great weekend. All right. 
and we have five amazing tags. I'll show two at a time. Can you see all that gold? Bling, beautiful. So you've got plenty of room to write on the back. I think we all have a stamp in our collection of our Christmas stamps that has the two from. I know I certainly have a few, <laughs> but so maybe if you're creating them, you could maybe stamp them first. These are absolutely stunning tags. So simple. You could definitely give this to a kid and um, let them go with it. They would have a lot of fun. And, you know, they might even create something a little bit different as well. You could also, I'm not sure whether Stampin' Up! probably haven't added dimensionals to these second tags here. They probably slide backwards and forwards, and that's fine. I've secured all mine down. But I just love the gold. Really, really pretty. So there we have it. 15 tags in all. Um, everything's included, including your dimensionals, your gemstones, your twine. Easy. So I think I'm, I'm going to have to actually create you know, a card using this kit. Maybe I'll do that as a challenge this weekend. Do an alternative for a kit. That might be a good idea. So there you go. I've given you a heads up on this week's challenge. So maybe you can think about what kit you have. Maybe if you don't even have a kit from the kit collection, you know, use your stamp set that you've already have. You know, maybe you've got some old memories and more kits or... Um, you know, some die cuts or something that you've already had, you could use that for your, your challenge as well. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I really do appreciate your time. Don't forget, the kits are on sale till tonight. So you can still grab this kit for 30% off, $20.70 here in Australia, which is an amazing, really good price uh, for 15 tags. Um, this would make a really great gift for someone as well. So um, maybe... Maybe that's your thoughts um, for someone that, you know, you're close with that they might like to do a little bit of crafting as a gift. All right. Oh, thank you, everyone. I really appreciate everyone coming and spending a bit of time with me. I'll be back next Thursday with um, the new month. So we'll be in September. I'm going to be focusing a little bit on Halloween next month. So... Um, Hopefully you're interested in that. Don't forget, you can always change my cards or, or projects that I'll be doing next month to make Christmas versions or, you know, any other occasion. So tune in and, and we'll see what we create. Have a great Friday and I hope that you enjoy your weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I hope you have an amazing time with your friends and family. And I'll be back really soon on Thursday for you. So I hope to see you all then. All right, everyone. Bye-bye.